Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Divine RPM channel. We've got a couple of accessories to install on the K24 DC5. Um, let's get into it. So guys, today we're going to be replacing a couple of factory parts that are just worn out and should be replaced uh, when you're um, refreshing the motor or you know you've taken the motor out. It's a good idea to uh, make these parts brand new um, and just take a look at surrounding stuff as well. So we've obviously got a brand new alternator, we have a new thermostat and we have a water pump. And now um, the alternator and the thermostat, what I did was I found a, an Accord that has a K24A3 which is the motor I have and um, I just bought from like online from Spursbox or super cheap or Repco we search up the part numbers. I just put the number plate in I found a car online from Instagram and um, yeah I just put that number plate in and I uh, found the correct thermostat and the correct alternator. Um, the water pump I bought from JDM Yard. Now the, I use this water pump because it's an OEM water pump and OEM is always best. I couldn't find OEM thermostat and OEM uh, alternator so I just bought these replacements. Um, alternative so the water pump is a K20 water pump. Now I believe the K20 water pump is the best water pump or I believe um, they all share the same water pump. So I think if I look here, um, it actually says what type of water pump it is and it's the exact same one. So it's an, I think it's an RBC water pump. It does say on here and I forgot. Um, it is an RBC water pump, yeah. So the water pump that I have on the K24 ATU right now is an RBC one and I bought a new RBC one. So let's do a quick unboxing as always and let's get into it. Okay, here is the alternator. Now I always like to do a quick box unboxing first just to show you guys everything. I know I say this all the time but this is something that I like to do. Let me just make sure nothing is in the box. Yep. Okay, so this is the alternator. It is just a factory replacement. That's the part number, I believe, DXA. 561 if you guys want need that part number for K24A3 alternator fresh extremely brand new beautiful love it on to the next thing next up thermostat pretty simple there you go comes with the housing and the thermostat which is beautiful direct push in and yeah easy simple as that just a quick, it is a Deco one, um, of course you can find different brands um, at different prices but you know Deco is pretty trustworthy, cool gasket too, thermostat, housing, beautiful. Part number for this one is not on the box, oh there we go, DT144K, I'll also have all the part numbers in the description as well. And lastly, water pump. Part number for the water pump is a 19200RBC013. So it is an RBC water pump. I believe there is only an RBC water pump because um, these come on the K20s as well. But there you go, I'll show you. Brand new water pump, beautiful. There you go, RBC. This one is so clean compared to the one on the car, which is just there. Um, beautiful. So you, everything that I have. Um, none of that comes with bolts, so we'll have to reuse everything from the old one, so be careful when you're removing things. So we're just going to go left to right on the engine, so um, the RBC water pump is first, so I guess we'll get started on the water pump. So just before we get, in, get into it, I just want to show you the locations of everything. So on the K24A3 on this side, um, where the balancer is, the water pump is here. Now you're just going to move these um, until the, to you, you, you're lined up with the bolts. There's a couple of bolts there that you got to take out and um, just then the water pump will just you know pull it off. The alternator is situated right next to it here. I don't think you have to take anything else off because I mean for me I don't have to. It's just bolt here, bolt here and a bolt up here. That's three bolts and that looks like it's it on the right side. Yep, just three bolts and obviously harness and stuff and make sure you don't hit anything else out of the way. And the thermostat, the thermostat is the one that goes here. It's connected to this hose here that goes into the adapter, which is blocked off, which I need a new hose anyway. Um, so the thermostat um, is here. Sorry, not this thing, that thing stays. Thermostat goes here. So just pull this off out of the way 
and it's just three bolts to pull this thermostat and the thermostat and the housing off and put the new one on. So that's all we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be removing a water pump. I know it's a bit dark. I'm just gonna use my phone flash to show you, but I won't be able to. Actually, yeah, I should be able to because I'm gonna be using the impact. So that's the water pump there. There is these bolts here. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe there's six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, pretty simple. Um, just there's two bolts here on the bottom corner that you gotta line up the this here to get the impact in there. Otherwise, just send it. It's a 10 mil, so um, get your impact, get your 10 mil. Make sure on the left because you have to reuse this bolt, so you want to break in and just hit them off. Now we are in one, so I don't think they're f they're not on that tight. So using level one and these two, can I? Yeah. Oops. Easy. That's now I just pull them out. It's one. One. That's two. Well, the water pump kind of catches it there. Four, five, and six. Got to break that one, and then, and then, okay. Oh, there's seven bolts. Sorry, there's one more on the bottom. Bottom left corner. Okay, that should be all seven bolts. I'm using the flash here. See, I don't think we don't take these off now. It does seem like it's kind of stuck, so I'm gonna just pull on it and see how we go. Oh, okay, that is fairly stuck. Um, maybe we're gonna flathead and just pry it out. Just checking again if there's any other bolts that I missed. Um, no, nothing is connected. <coughs> ah, yeah, so, um, looks like someone has put a bit of celastic there, looks like I did. No, it looks like it's just fallen off from the, when I did the front cover. Otherwise, I should be able to just pry it out. So I'll grab it for that head or something. Pry it out, because I can't pull it out. It's definitely stuck. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just pulled on this one. Um, we will have to take this out and put it on the new one, I believe. I don't think the new one has it. Do oh shit, this thing, but yeah. Um, RBC water pump, fairly dirty, fairly in crap condition, to be honest. Um, it's a good thing I did replace it. I wasn't gonna, but you know, it's just good that I did. Um, yeah, you can see it's kind of black here. The thing itself looks okay, the blade or fan, whatever. But um, inside it is kind of mucky. And uh, outside as well, it's definitely disgusting. So, always good to replace things. It looks like a bit of rust as well. But, um, that's the crap one. See you later. Now, um, the surface here, I'm not sure if I should. I'll just give it a quick wipe. That's about it. Just with a rag. Just to clean any gunk and stuff off. You don't need to use RTV here because, um, I do have a new gasket. Does this have a gasket? Yeah, the old one has a gasket, and this has a new gasket as well. There's no sealant on here, so we're not going to use any sealant. So, I'm going to show you guys inside. Uh, so, the water pump, you can see the thermostat, and this is probably the engine side here. I'll just give you a quick look. So, if you guys can see, right there, thermostat, you can see the thermostat through here, and that goes to the motor on the top. So, I'll actually leave you guys here in front of me so we can install the new water pump. Just quick comparison guys of the old water pump and the new one. This is the old one, pretty muck, brand new one, looking fresh, so good. That's gonna be awesome. So we do need do we need do we need to take this piece, put it on here, 
Um, looks like just some small screw there. Bolt and transfer that over and then pop it onto the car. Okay, so we're gonna put that piece off later. I took it off. Um, it's just an 8mm um, here and then pull it off. It's a bit gunky but it should be fine. So we're gonna put this back on now. I'm gonna put the two all oh, bolts are the same size. Are they the same size? Yes, so all the uh, water pump bolts are the same size. Don't need to worry about if the ones that go inside or not, they all look the same size. So let's pop them on. So water pump goes in here like so. Um, yep. Oh, so it actually slots in pretty nicely. You don't have to really line it up. I mean, I'll hold it there. I guess just line up the right side first. Like so. Should be easy to line up the rest now. Yep, so grab two more. We'll send these on the inside. Okay, we'll do the left side first because it's not unlined properly. So now it would be, it would be aligned now. So I recommend doing the top one and then doing the bottom one. You guys really can't see that, can you? There you go. So yeah, I recommend doing the top one, then the bottom one here. Um, just so the left and right side is all lined up properly. So yeah, now everything looks aligned. Let's do this side too. I'm not sure what the torque specs are. I will search them up quickly. Once I get all these bolts in. These two probably use the impact socket just to line it up. Like so. Ding, ding, ding. So you can straight through and see, right? That's where you've got to line it up. Boom. Anyway, you get the point. The last two, one, two. guys so there isn't actually any um, specs out there so I used um, level one on the impact to take it off so I'm just gonna tie it on it with level one uh, they're known to break these these are known to break I just could do a quick search from over tightening so I'm just gonna send it with level one and hope for the best you know just, that's it couple clicks that's it Set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. Right, let's put that little thing back on. This. Should just like kind of fit in. And then with this eight mil, let's choose one of these to tighten them. It was kind of tight uh, to take off, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, it's easier to pull it off when the water pump is still connected because there's um, force holding down the pump. We 
you go. Don't obviously break it, but maybe that should do. All right, water pump is on. Sweet as. Moving on to the alternator. Now with the alternator, as I said before, there is one, two, and three. Um, this is not, this is power string, so don't take that out. But this is the harness for it, I guess, power harness. So we're just gonna pull this off. Um, I believe it's a clip. Yep. So push it on the clip and it should slide out. Yep, clips on this side. So push it down and pull it out. Okay, and remember, be careful, because this has been sitting for a while, and if it has been for you as well, they're gonna be really brutal, so be careful not to break them. Um, also, there is a... Ah, okay, so on the other side, I'll quickly show you, there's a bolt. Now, that's common, I guess, for alternator and for things, um, electrical stuff, so this bolt here, so this is connected to the harness, and I believe that's a power bolt, I think. Yep, it's because it's, oh, it's a, yeah, yeah, so it's a ground or something. Um, that looks like a 10 mil. I'm just gonna see with the impact. Yep, 10 mil, so just pop that off. And that will get that out of there. Do not lose that, because you will need it again for the new alternator, so pop this off. Um, and then you should be able to pull this off, like so. Keep that 10 mil. For the other side, now, um, the harness has this little clip here, um, I think if you just keep twisting, you should be able to get it through, again it's very brittle, and um, what you do is like, push down on this side to get one tab in, but if you push down hard enough, um, they won't actually go in, they will actually break. Best thing to do is with a flathead, if I can find one nearby. I bought a new toolkit, but I really need like a new like screw set like, with um flatheads and stuff. Oh, what is that coming out? Ah, oh, so there's a bracket here. Um, let's just take the bracket off because we probably need we need the bracket. So let's just pull this bracket off. Ten mil again, and there you go. We have that bracket off, and we can reuse that on the new alternator. All right. That's that side out of the way. Pop that there. Don't lose that because um, oh, it looks like we do have a bracket with a new one. So what I'll do is, um, what will I do? So yeah, now we actually got to take this off. I'm going to use use the new bracket because it comes with a new one. Um, and just so you see how the clip is like that. You just gotta sort of squeeze it and pull it through. Um, the new bracket does kind of look different, but um, we'll use the new bracket because um, if it's new, might as well use it. Otherwise, what's the point of it? Am I right? So just gotta pull this off. Okay, bracket's off. So we won't be using that bracket. Now this is out of the way. Now, the alternator itself is just these bolts. Now, these bolts are not 10 mils. They look bigger than that. Let's see. They are probably are at the 12, 12 or 14, I reckon. 12. Okay, there you go. A lot of things on this car is either 12 or 14, so it's really helpful. Again, sending it with the impact. Um, Torx specs, again, I'll check, but we'll see. That's right. That. So I just used double one there, and it was fine, so it should be okay. So the top one, first one I put is the long one that goes on the top. The bottom two are probably shorter. Yep, the two short ones are for the bottom. Oh shit, I forgot alternators are heavy. <laughs> so that's off. Um, 
Just gonna put that on the floor. Oh, lucky I remember the last second. Wait, this thing's pretty heavy. I should probably catch that. Oh, it would have probably landed on my foot. No alternator. All right, let's get the new one. I'll do a comparison quickly and then put the new one on. Okay, let's just compare alternators. Brand new one, uh, old OEM one. It's pretty, it, you know, it probably works. It worked when in the K20 Accord when I used it. Um, maybe it didn't to be honest, I don't know, because I was uh, jump starting and using a different battery a lot. But it is pretty old, got some rust there. Nothing wrong with getting a brand new one. If it's available, might as well get it all fresh. So yeah, new one, old one. I see the bracket that I took off was this one. So I took that off so we can actually just reuse the new one and not the old one. Wiring goes there, harness goes here, just like that one. Cool. Okay, new alternator going on. Let me show the top one is the longer one. So that goes there. Hold while I put the bottom two in. See how much better it looks with like everything new? Like just the water pump and the alternate they're new together looks so good, man. All right. Um, is that lining up? Yeah. So now it's just sending it with the impact. Okay, um, let me check torque specs. Okay, so again, there's no um, confirmed torque specs. I'm just gonna send it with the impact. Um, now, I did take a couple of twists of one to get it in, so I'm gonna just do the reverse. So watch, let's do the top first. Let's just get everything in first. That's in. That's in. That's in, so now it's gonna send it a couple of times. Yep. Yep. Yep, okay. That's secure, that's in, I'm happy with that. Alternator's in. Let's plug everything back in on the other side with the 10 mil. Okay, so... Wearing harness. Let's clip that back in. Before we do that, let's put this part into here, which might be a bit difficult. Mm. Maybe easier to remove the bracket first and then put it back on, but... Oh, not easy. Done, that's in. So first I'm going to put this side in, the ground power thing onto here. Oh, so they give us a new one, which is beautiful. Don't have to reuse it. Got a new one, which is awesome. Remove that sleeve thing. Put this here. Right in there. We can just send that with the impact. Is that in? Yep, that's in. So that's in. Cover that up with this. Make sure it goes over all the way. You don't want anything getting in there. Like oil from your Honda. Did I rip this? No, I didn't. There we go. That sleeve is on top of that and secure now. Now plug the harness in. Oops. Didn't click. I want to hear that click. <laughs> uh, it doesn't click, but you know you can feel it go in when the um, this little click here goes up. You can feel it. Yep, there's a little click there. Done. Alternator is installed. Now thermostat. Doesn't seem too difficult. Um, we will have to remove this harness thing out of the way again. So let me just grab my screwdriver. 
supposed to use a flathead, but this is the thing that was close by, so I just grabbed it. Just sort of crush one side, and then pull it through, maybe crush both sides, because it's not going through. Just another same clip as the alternator. Yep, that's through. Move that out of the way. This is actually the alternator um, harness there. So it's just three bolts. They look like... Let's see if they're 10mm. Can't really see. Yeah, they're 10 again. So I just send it with a 10mm. Break them with the impact. Now I'm using an impact because I have one. You don't have to if you have the right tools or any tools, use them. And then I should be able to just pull this off. Boom. Still some, still some cooling in there. Just a little bit green as, which is good to know. But um, yeah, I think this was working pretty well. Yeah, Honda 78 degrees, so I have the same one, 78 degrees. Um, yeah, so it is a OEM Honda one. Um, it's done a lot of cases, definitely should replace thermostats and stuff. Um, when it gets too old, there's no point. But yeah, it looks clean because probably it's been mixed with water or something, maybe. No rust though, I'm surprised. Um, okay, let's do a quick comparison. Okay, so new thermostat, old thermostat, this is the old one, it is an OEM Honda one, Honda 78 degrees. This is also a 78 degree one, you can see it there. Um, OEM is always best, but I couldn't actually find an OEM one. I think there are too many different ones to pinpoint the right one. And I um, couldn't order one from like Deco, I mean from Spacebox, something like that. They only have alternatives, not the OEM Honda ones. But it is exactly the same. Comes with the thermostat, comes with a new gasket that I can use. It looks a bit flimsy, but um, it should fit and should work. Because the other one is like proper rubber there. But we don't reuse gaskets, right? get new ones um, and it comes with one so it should be fine but yeah very, pretty fair and simple let's get the new one in so guys just looking at the gasket that they give right so this is the gasket um, I'll just pull it on but uh, it looks like this gasket is the same as the one on the um, OEM one let me just zoom out yeah so this gasket looks like it's the same one as the as the OEM one um, it's got this little bits I don't know if you can see it's hard to see but yeah it's kind of like uh, ribbed um, and it looks like it fits just inside perfectly right so it does fit um, there's no problem but what I'm what I'm um, predicting is so it, it doesn't fit completely flush like it fits right and you gotta sort of just like a it's kind of like a rocker cover gasket where you gotta sort of line it up and push it through and uh, you want once it's in there it's in there and um, I believe what happens is once you bolt it in, it actually gets shoved in and pushed close together, um, just like um, a rocket cover gasket. So that's something just wanted to note. It's not just a gasket that just goes over and then bolt it on. Um, it is one of those like rocket cover style gaskets. And yeah, apart from that, let's just send it. So the bracket, let's get the bracket in last. Let's get the thermostat in. Make sure your gasket is all. Make sure you don't forget your gasket. It's important. And then just send it in. Boom! New thermostat is in there. All three bolts are the same, so you can use them on any side. And again, I'm just going to send it with the impact. If you find torque specs, by all means use it. But if if the torque specs that you find are not um, if the torque specs that you find are not from like official sources, they're just forums and there's random ones, you know, don't try it. Like the torque spec that they give could be completely wrong and um, you would have broken your box, which you don't want just because you followed some random guy on a forum. Um, unless it's confirmed, you know, go for it. But if not, just um, use your hand, um, not your hand, you know, spanner or, or impact and uh, see how tight it goes. Um, anyway, so now, yeah, so now there's like a gap, right? So now if I tighten it, the gap should close together and push the gasket down more. That's left. Yep, exactly what happened. So now it's pushing down and closing up that gap and pushing the gasket onto the table. So I'm just gonna go a couple more, like one, two. One, two. And one, two. 
identified as beautiful. Put this back in. Done. All right, guys, that's the thermostat in there. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so now we've done everything. Everything is done. The thermostat is in there. Just tightened up there. The new thermostat. We've got the new alternator in there. So fresh. Three bolts here. The harness, the power, ground thing. And of course, we've got a brand new uh, water pump with this pipe here too. This, I believe, we'll have, we will have to modify due to clearance, but you know, we'll worry about that when we drop the motor in. But everything's in there. Everything's tightened up. That looks, the motor looks so good there. RVC, water pump, new alternator, and thermostat. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's been pretty simple and fairly um, easy to do this. Um, again, doing these things is like a more of a maintenance must thing, especially if you're gonna start pushing the car for power and stuff. It's a no-brainer if you already have the motor out to start cleaning up things and replacing things that are OEM or that uh, need replacing, such as water pump, alternator, and thermostat like we've done today serviceable items that are going to be used pretty hard when you're driving and getting your car tuned and on the circuit and you might as well just upgrade it or you know replace them so thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next dc5 video or something else we never know